Today we're going to be talking about the RS rackets, which stands for Robert Sutherland. So let's talk about the five categories. Again, specs, playability, pros and cons, who is this racket for, and cost. So let's talk a little bit about specifications. The racket, black and white. The shape, teardrop, as you can see right here, which the sweet spot is going to be a little bit more on the top. Uh, the frame is carbon. Uh, it's a 3K, so it's very, very uh, flexible. Um, the surface is a 3D grid uh, pattern. As you can see, it has the RSs right here, similar to the uh, Bella. Uh, it looks pretty nice, actually. It's, it's pretty cute. The balance is low, and the weight is between 345 uh, plus or minus uh, grams. Um, the face of the material is, 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 like you said, 3K carbon. The foam is medium, and the grip is about 5 inches. Unique features of this racket, which after we tested it, uh, it was light, but... Oh, it was a great, it's a great racket. Yeah. Man. I mean, this is, this is a deal for... I mean, this, this is an amazing, very light, good control, uh, very playable, you know, well-balanced, well-balanced uh, 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 racket. But, but let me tell you... I. I when we first started reviewing these rackets, uh, I was a little bit skeptical, a little bit, okay? Very <laughs> skeptical about the quality of that racket. And let me tell you, and I think we both agree to this, these rackets are incredible. Let me tell you that the feel of these rackets, they are top-notch rackets, and all of them. I mean, I couldn't say one wrong thing about each one of those what, what what do you think um i kind of felt the same way i think it's it's a brand that um kind of people overlook you know what i'm saying it's i think under underrated i mean the quality of this racket is is incredible yeah. for for the price um and the playability too yes yes i gotta say this was probably my favorite although you know uh, the whole lineup was was uh great i mean i was able to play with it it's very well balanced good control um great good power uh but this one is is a light one i really like this one you know yeah, for, for me i mean it was delightful i mean it's it's uh i, I tried really hard to fight fi find something that I didn't like but it was so difficult i mean the only thing i could say is it's just a tiny bit light for me mm -hmm. but the feel overall it's it's, it's and, it was and, very nice and i don't think you and typically when you have a lighter uh, racket and you kind of lose a little bit of power, but I didn't really feel that way no. on this. I was able to, I think, go faster, compensate for for that weight. But let's talk about playability. Okay, yeah. um, how was it when you were defending the the ball? Defending, I mean, it was absolutely del delicious. I mean, it was n good feel of the back walls. Like I said, for me, in my case, it's a little bit light, but surpri surprisingly, I mean, it was a, a, a good defense racket. How about you? Uh, for defense, it was excellent. I mean, like I said, it was very light, so I was able to get to the ball very quickly. Uh, the ball came out, you know, fairly quickly. Um, it was a delight when it comes comes to the defense. How about the offense for you? Offense, I mean, with a three K, I think it was it was very very good. It felt uh, solid at the net on the aerial game too. Uh, fantastic racket. What do you think about the offense for you? Um, the offense again. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it came. The ball came out very quickly. I was able to move this paddle very quick to the left, to the right. I was able to swing the vibras and bandejas very quickly. I mean, I love this. I think this paddle is amazing. Yeah. You know, I mean, it. it, yeah. it I mean, I usually don't find paddles that are light that still maintain their power um, in control. So, I mean, it, it was a great paddle. I really enjoyed it. Okay, Julian. Um, the pros and cons. Uh, the cons. Very few and um, of. Maybe if any. Uh, on the defense, for me, it was just a little bit light, but the feel overall, it was absolutely fantastic. The cons, uh, great overall racket. I mean, good handling on the net, on the aerial game, easy to handle. Uh, it never became heavy on my arm. Uh, the balance on, on the head of the racket, it was perfect. Uh, overall, it, it was fantastic. Okay, for me, um, I mean, the pros is it's, it's so well balanced. I mean, I think it's very, very well balanced. You yeah. know, I couldn't say anything bad against us. Cons, I mean, I just don't have any. I mean, it's it's a it's a great racket. So I have no, no I have no cons. I agree with you. So who's who's this racket for, Julian? Uh definitely it's an intermediate player. It will okay. be an absolutely 
weapon, uh, man or woman. I mean, and 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 as it's you know, with the light, with the pro lights, it's more targeted to women. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's overall it's a uh, for for an advanced players you the the power will not be there for a really you know advanced high level player but everyone else um highly recommend it I agree I agree with you I think this is good for women for juniors for coaches that are there all day um again uh, I I I think you made a good good point there about uh, an advanced player um that's the only thing if it was but then you're going to sacrifice everything else so if you if this was heavier uh it wouldn't it, it, the characteristics of these would be wouldn't be what they are but it, you know it, you have to swing a little bit faster to get the same amount of power if you had um a racket that was a little bit heavier okay so let's do um the ratings one through ten uh on the defense i will give it a you know 7.5 uh on the offense i will give it a nine and uh overall it's um 8.753 <laughs> did you just come up with these numbers <laughs> i swear um okay so for me a defense is a nine i mean yeah. uh offense is also a nine yeah. i mean this thing is 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 a nine yeah um and what's uh, more importantly too is the price uh what's the cost of this uh, julian look 251.95 and if you go to racket central and use our code psa you know it's going to come down to 226.75 you're saving 25 bucks but let me tell you hey, hey. plus free shipping oh my really yes free, free shipping, shipping oh my god that's awesome <laughs> that's at least 30 dollars savings but yeah ex exactly but let me tell you this is an un underrated paddle weapon uh there's not enough marketing behind this racket but the quality and the way it's finished it's it, it looks like a 400 dollar racket it sure. is i would I mean, say it is you know it's at least you know a 300 dollar racket i think you know i mean so for this price for for what you're getting yeah i mean there's a lot of value here yeah there's a there's a lot of value here i mean i would i mean this is my top five rackets uh you know definitely when it comes to price you know for value i mean th that will probably beat all those other four you yeah, know what I'm saying just because I mean for two what uh, two twenty six, where are you gonna get a racket with 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 this much value? Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and join us for all things battle. We are all things battle.